In this exercise, you can learn to apply transform effects like scale, rotate, transweight, and understand the transform matrix. So to demonstrate this, we need a rectangle. So let's go under our CTX object, and I'm going to apply a fill style to it of yellow, or like an orange color. And then we'll type in ctx.fillrec just to experiment with an immediate rectangle. And I'll make its X position 50, its Y position 50, and give it a width and height of 100 pixels. So if I refresh my canvas, I get my rectangle. And let's go ahead and draw another rectangle. It's right next to that one at a 200 X position. Now the first transform method that we're going to take a look at is the ctx.scale method. And this takes two parameters, the X and the Y. So you have X scale and Y scale. Let's put a comment in that says default scale is 1 and 1. So if I was to put a 0.5 here and then a 0.5 here, that's half scale. Now that scales the whole perspective of the canvas. So if I was to put this, let's see, what's the size of my canvas? It's 500 wide. If I was to put this rectangle, the second rectangle at 500 and refresh, you'll see it only goes to about 250. That's because it's half scale. Everything beyond this fill rect, we put this fill rect in place and it's not affected. But then we use the scale method and then things become affected. Now the next method we're going to take a look at is rotate method. And this just gets one parameter of the angle in radians. So let's remove that comment and let's put this back on 200 and refresh our canvas. Well first let's comment that out then refresh. Now we're back to normal with no transforms. Alright now let's pop in the rotate method and I'm going to set the angle to 0.1 refresh. Now 0.15 refresh. 0.17 refresh. And you can just see it slowly rotating around. Let's go up to 2 and refresh. So if I put that on 0 0.05 and I was to add another rectangle, 350 X position, and refresh, you'll see that both of them, the ones that are set after the rotate method, they rotate according to the top left perspective of the canvas. Now we're going to take a look at the ctx.translate method, which is used for X and Y movement. So the X, I'll put it 0 and the Y zero. So if I refresh this, we'll see no transformation. But if I want to move it on the Y axis down 50 pixels, refresh, and you see everything on the canvas after I specify the translate method moves down 50 pixels. If I wanted to move 20 pixels to the right, I'll make it 20 for the X parameter. Refresh. So let's put those back on zero. Refresh. Now if I want to put negative 50 here, that'll make it go up. And to make it go left, you can say negative whatever number. And then it'll go left. Okay, let's remove the translate method. Refresh. And now we're going to take a look at the transform method. The transform method takes a six value matrix. So you can pop in some comments to yourself here. The first comment lets you know what the values in the matrix apply to. So you can scale horizontally, skew vertically, skew horizontally, scale vertically, move things horizontally, and move things vertically. Now a default transform matrix is these values here. So I can just take those values, copy them, go to the next line, ctx.transform, and then pop those values in, in between parentheses. Now if I were to refresh, I'd see no changes because there's no transform being applied because this is a default value setting for a transform. Now you can start playing with these values. So if I went 1.1 for the scale X, you can see that everything on the canvas, after we specify the transform method, everything on the canvas is scaled horizontally. So if we go to the Y scale and we change that to 1.1, we should also see some changes. See, it scales a little bit vertically now along the y-axis. So let's put those back to 1. You know what those do. And if you wanted to put that at 0.5, that would give it half scale. At 0.8, you'll be able to see it a little better. So that's a partial scale on the x-axis. And if we put the y-axis at a partial scale that's even to that, and we refresh. So you can go either direction, scale up or scale down. So let's put that back on 1 and 1. Refresh. 
Now let's take a look at what y skew and x skew do. So we'll take from 0 and we'll go to 0.1 and refresh. Let's put that back on 0. And then let's try 0.1 and that skews horizontally. To see a more dramatic effect, just raise that value. Let's put that back on 0, refresh. Now let's talk about the x translate and y translate. So if I want to move those items 30 pixels on the x axis and 20 pixels on the y axis. And I can also use negative values there to go in the opposite direction. So now you understand all of the values that work within the transform matrix of values. Now the very last method within the transform family is set transform and that will allow you to more independently transform assets on your canvas because it resets the current transform to the identity matrix then it invokes the transform method to run so in order to see that in action what I'm gonna do is remove all these rects and that original transform there and I'll take this control X and we'll put it above these things that way you can still reference it and then we're going to have just one fill rect, so we'll have one orange square. Then I'm going to set transform, and I'm going to draw another square. And if I refresh that, you can see what we have going on. If I remove the transform and refresh, that's our two squares without any transform. So now the second square gets the transform applied. Now what I'm going to do is set another transform. Then I'm going to draw another square under the second one. Refresh. So you can see that we've reset the transform identity. And if you were to use the regular transform method right here instead of set transform and refresh, you can see that the third square is adhering to the first transform, even though we're specifying a default transform before we draw the third. So that's how set transform comes in handy. It resets the transform matrix identity on the canvas refresh so that's how you can see a contrasting effect on how transform and set transform are a little bit different well really this one can be a regular transform refresh and we still get the same effects but you have to use set transform if you want to reset the current transform to the identity matrix and that completes transformation effects on the canvas element